Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. All is the son of Nobe is my name and I hope I find you all well. We are from the weekend. I hope the ones nothing uh, untoward that you went through and you are looking forward to a wonderful weekend. Uh, I'm here to update those especially who are on the ZEP who are waiting with bated breath uh, what is going to come out of the South African government of national unity. There is a lot of rumor that is flying around. There is a lot of uh, false information that is flying around as to who is going to become the Minister of Police and who is going to become the Minister of Home Affairs. Uh, you will know that these are two uh, portfolios that might see a lot drastically changing in as far as migrants that are in South Africa uh, are concerned and their livelihoods, let me say. Uh, so, so many people have been spreading rumor that the men, that probably many of you uh, wish could not become the Minister of Home Affairs has been given that portfolio. Uh, so, people want to know if that is actually true. Uh, I've received more than 10 messages on my WhatsApp since Friday. People asking me if it is true that Gaten Mackenzie of the Patriotic Alliance has joined the HGNU and if so, is it true that he has been given or that his party has been given the Department of Home Affairs and the Ministry of Police to run because you know that Mr. Mackenzie has been since the advent of his political party or since the last year or so been using hate for migrants, stalking hate for migrants as his campaign uh, messaging and he has always even on the microblogging site X which is formerly Twitter he has been writing every day uh, that migrants must be deported he has been talking about mass deportation of migrants he has been talking about the shelving of the South African constitution saying that uh, it must be set aside, aside so that there will be mass deportation of what he terms illegal uh, immigrants. Obviously, he doesn't, uh, he uses the term illegal to hide behind the obvious hate that he has for migrants, African migrants, black African migrants that are living and working in South Africa. So he has also uh, said that his condition of being in the government of national unity, which is being led by President Cyril Ramaphosa, uh, is that his party be given the Department of Home Affairs and the Ministry of Police to run and he wants this specifically so that he can round up migrants that are in South Africa in his mass deportation drive. Uh, he has also threatened that once he gets into power, he will go to state hospitals and disconnect life support systems for migrants that are in the country. He, of course, uses uh, sparingly the term illegal migrants, but he doesn't uh, separate to him every migrant, every black migrant who is in South Africa is illegally here and must be deported because he claims that migrants are committing crimes. He claims that, uh, that uh, migrants have taken space, uh, that is, the, in, the informal trading space, he claims that they've taken jobs from South Africans and he claims that they are competing for social services with South Africans, especially free health care, and that they are filling a number of uh, spaces that are meant to be set aside for poor South Africans. And now people want to know if it is indeed true that he has been given those ministries and if not, what is going to happen? So this is what I'm going to talk about. Uh, it is true that uh, the Patriotic Alliance has been added as one of the parties in the government of national unity that is being run by the African National Congress through President Cyril Ramaphosa. But it is not true that Mr. Gaetan McKenzie has been given any ministry because what is happening is that the ANC has been busy adding new parties to the GNU and they are still adding more, but they haven't reached a stage where the president has appointed his cabinet. He was uh, expected to name his cabinet ministers 
yesterday, that is Sunday, but he didn't do that, and now it is expected that sometime this week, which should be maybe before Wednesday, he's going to announce his cabinet. We don't know who is actually going to be in that cabinet, but what I can tell you is that nothing has been decided yet. There is going to be a lot of consultations with those parties that are in the government of national unity to come out with who occupies what position. But we don't foresee Gayton Mackenzie becoming either the Minister of Home Affairs or Police. And he has said himself that, uh, in fact, he has backtracked from his earlier uh, demands that if he is to be in the GNU, he must be given either the Minister of Police or the Minister of Home Affairs. You will remember that he got an insignificant number of seats, he got an insignificant number of votes to make any demands. Actually, the ANC can do without the Patriotic Alliance. The ANC can do without Gayton Mackenzie and his hate for migrants. So there is no way that is going to arm twist anyone into giving him anything. For him to stay in the GNU, he will have to tore the lines, the line of the bigger parties and many uh, parties within the South African uh, space are not against migrants and they don't share the Demagogari stance that he has been selling to the people as he tried to build his political uh, uh, capital as he campaigned. So that is why he is not, we don't foresee him getting any police or uh, home affairs ministry. So whatever you have been told so far that he has been given those ministries is false and it is highly unlikely that he's going to get any of those ministers, especially based on the head that he has because South Africa needs the whole of Africa. South Africa needs the whole of the international community in order for it to move forward. There is no way they can take uh, a man who is known more for his hate for migrants than anything meaningful uh, such uh, power to play around with people's emotions. Even he, Gaton McKenzie, uh, on the social media, that is on X, he has backtracked on his earlier demands that he can only be there based on what ministry is given or based on that he's been given the Department of Home Affairs or the police ministry. So that should inform you that he has it has dawned on him that his hate for migrants is not capital that he can uh, get uh, into a ministry uh, position that he demands. So it is not a license for him to just walk into the GNU and do as he pleases. Even if he were to be given those ministries, there is no way again that he would be allowed to implement some of these uh, policies that are inimical to the progress of South Africa because, as I have said, South Africa needs the whole of Africa. In fact, South, Af South Africa needs Africa more than Africa needs South Africa. And they know these things despite what these other guys are saying, despite the right-wing uh, movements that have spiraled out of nowhere, despite the ANC seemingly taking a right-wing approach uh, towards uh, the elections, it cannot do without the rest of Africa. They know that. Uh, so I will ask you to rest assured that whoever becomes the new Minister of Home Affairs will not do more than that we have see, what we have seen Dr. Aaron Mutualeti doing because the Constitution is there to protect anyone. South Africa signed several laws that force it to protect everyone within its shores that uh, bar it from exercising any xenophobic uh, anything that can be seen to be xenophobic. So be rest assured that whoever becomes the new Minister of Police or Home Affairs is not going to come up with any many drastic measures against Africans. So this is what we had for you. We will come back in different broadcasts, but this is where we leave it for now. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.